works. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It even remembers that I started a game already because I was testing things out. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! The, the Eternal Duelist of Soul. What a start. Um, yeah, this is an old, old game. It is, what, 23 years old now? Yeah, I was four years old when this came out. To be completely honest with you, I did not know that Yu-Gi-Oh! was that old. I'm, I'm not even joking. I could have sworn it was just a thing that came around when I was about 10 years old in the early 2000s. But here we are. Um, I'm going to start a new game, obviously. I'm recording this with OBS. Hopefully everything sounds okay, looks okay. Is Well, you can only do so much with so many pixels on a Game Boy Advance game that's being emulated on a computer. But I digress. Let's jump into this. Uh, yes. I don't have a... I don't have a controller. I'm playing on a keyboard, so it's a little wonky, but I'm trying to like, figure it out. Anyways, let's go. Nice to meet you. I'm Tia Gardner, a friend of Yugi. To start the game, you need to select an initial deck. You have three choices, and you won't know what you get until after you've made your selection. Okay, choose carefully. Doesn't matter. Um, I'll go with the black one, I guess. Now you're ready to duel, but before you start, make sure you take a close look at the cards in your deck. It wouldn't hurt to remember what your trap, magic, and monster cards are capable of. There are plenty of duelists waiting to face you in the campaign, including me, of course. So good luck to you. I'll see you later. Okay, so, now, this game is really cool in the way that it essentially never ends. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you can obviously do Link Battle, or if you had like an old Game Boy Advance Link Cable, you could battle people. This is where you go in to view your deck. Um, I think I'm gonna have to, there we go. My left and right triggers are Q and E, W, A, S, D is up, down, left, and right, and 1, 2, and 3 on the control pad, or on the number pad are, or 1 and 2 are A and B, and I think 3 is X, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we have some pretty garbage cards to start off with, like always. Um, <clears throat> I forgot that we have all of Exodia already, too, but I don't ever think we're going to get that. Uh, so I'm going to cut it really soon, actually, and I'm going to edit it together, because there is a cool thing about this game that, I, I swear, that this is the coolest thing. I wish they'd done this in Pokemon games and everything, and maybe they did in some of them, I don't know. But you can go down here to this. And you can put in the code that is on the bottom of every single Yu-Gi-Oh card, probably up until a point, and you can get that card. If the card was out when this game was produced, obviously. If the, if the card came out after 1996, then you're not going to be able to get that card. But, I'm going to try to remember all the cards I had in my deck that was, like, ridiculously awesome that I used as a child to put into the game when I got the game. So, that's how we're going to do it. And uh, I'll I'll bring you back after I have done that. It might be a little bit, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get all my favorite cards back because damn it, I I want to enjoy this nostalgia trip and not actually grind through it because that sounds painful and annoying. So I will see you in just a second. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I have finally finished typing in all the codes from deck that I've had since I was a wee lad. So let me show you what they look like. Cards, anyways. The deck. You know, whatever you want to say. I've got to build it anyways. Um, let's see. This is the main deck. This is the deck that I currently have to main deck. Okay, yeah. This is how you do it. Alright, so. You could briefly look over the cards I added. And there's a bunch of my. These are actually all the cards I did add. So everything you see here is what I added. So just go ahead and peruse. I had a pretty sick deck back in the day, yo. It's gonna take a little while to go through all these. I'm just gonna kinda speed it up a little bit. A lot of nostalgia here. Okay, so. There is, I think, 52 cards here, and I can only have... I think I can only have 40 in my main deck, or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Either way... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and build our deck correctly. So I want that card, I want that card, I want that card, 
I want that card. Okay, that card. Okay, that card. Actually, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna do this until it makes me stop, and then I'm gonna have to go into the regular deck. Yeah, see. Oh, actually, I probably already have Change of Heart, which is why it made me do that. I uh, don't need Cyberstein yet because I don't have any fusion cards. Yeah, I can't have any more magic cards either, so I'm gonna have to go in there and. No, what it is, I can't have duplicates of the same card. And I already had. I already had Dark Hole and I already had Change of Heart, apparently. From what I can tell. Okay, so now, now I'm maxed out. Alright, so these cards. I need to get rid of some of the crappy cards that the game was trying to start me with. Uh, yeah, see all this garbage here? That's garbage. Uh, you know, Crawling Dragon actually isn't bad. I might keep that one. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Looking for the garbage. Looking for the garbage. Garbage. Uh, garbage. 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 I'm not actually sure that Judge Man was garbage, but I'm not ever going to be able to... I'm not going to use him, because he takes a... You know, you have to sacrifice to summon him, so I'm... Oh no, Penguin Soldier! I'm sorry. I'll get you back in a second. I hope. Oh wait, I think... No, I didn't add Penguin Soldier. I think I must have already had a Penguin Soldier. That's pretty sweet. Um, okay, there's that. Okay, might keep him. Okay. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can't add that again. Okay, so let's keep going. Where were we? Imperial Order, yes please. Jinzo, hell yeah. He's awesome. La Jin is awesome. Magic Jammer is awesome. Malevolent no Nuzzler is awesome. Manager Bug is awesome. Mechanical Chaser is awesome. Mirror Force is awesome. Monster Reborn I already have. Morphing Jar is awesome. All these cards back in the day made up a sick deck for me. Can't have two Pot of Greeds, I guess. Or maybe I already have... No, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm maxed out again. Um, there's not too many cards left that I still want to add, so let me... What can I get rid of here, just for funsies? Uh, probably that. And that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Because I definitely want Vorse Raider. And I definitely want Trap Hole. Okay, so I think... Yeah, that's gonna be it. Alright. It's time to do 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 do. Alright, anyways. Um, let's start it off with Yugi, I guess. Hi, I'm Yugi Moto. Did you just start playing Duel Monsters 2? What a nerd. In this game, you get all kinds of cards when you win duels. That's why you want to face as many duelists as you can. The more you win, the more powerful your deck becomes. Yeah, it does. Okay, what is the trick? I think it's like. In the. In. On the Game Boy, if you held down. I think it's left and right trigger and B, it would like auto speed the entire game. Like the entire match would be like on crack. But I think on the emulator if I hold spacebar it does that too, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well I don't care if I win. Okay. Please be fast. Yes! Perfect. Good, 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 good. I love it. Okay, so Oh he let me go first, that's nice. And a huge mistake. I forget, what does this card do? Play 1,000 last points, randomly select and discard one card from your opponent's hand. Oh yeah, that's a brutal way to start. Let's do it. Hope you didn't like those cards. Let's see, we'll put Trap Hole down. Put Big Shield Gardener down. Yeah, good start. And then in my turn, okay, perfect. First time I've played this in years. Decades, even. See, I like directly attack you jerk. Inside surprise. Alright. Funnily enough, I don't have any monsters to attack with, so I'm just gonna have to let him keep chipping away at me until he makes a mistake. Uh, no. Okay, so 
that puts Big Shield Guard right in attack position. Ooh, ooh, watch this. This is gonna be sick. So I'll use Change of Heart to take the Wing Guardian of the Labyrinth or whatever his name is. Now, since Barrel Dragon requires two sacrifices to summon, I will get rid of Big Shield Guard now and his Winged Dragon. And Barrel Dragon is up and by far my favorite card in this whole game. Like, no joke. This this card is amazing. And here's why. Look at this. Toss a coin three times. If two out of three are heads, destroy one opponent's monster. You can do this every single turn. It's freaking amazing. I'm gonna use it even though I probably shouldn't even bother with it because it's only got 400 attack. Just watch this. I mean, I might get it and I might not, but say I didn't. I'm gonna destroy the guy anyways, don't worry about it. But the fact that you can use that every turn is just insane. boost his attack a little bit more. It's gonna keep prompting me because I've got that mystical space typhoon card. I if I want to like destroy my own card or something. 2700. Ah, oh, you, you had a curve up. Well, whatever. It bought you 20, it bought you one more turn, man. So, uh, yeah, the way this game works, the the original, uh, the, the first round is usually, like, against Yugi and his friends, and they are all just god-awful. I mean, and even the second tier is pretty dang bad, too. It doesn't really get challenging until the third uh, tier of opponents you can face. And it really gets tricky then, because they have the ability to kind of cheat and know what cards you have, which is a little bullshit, but, hey, you know, whatever. They know if you have a card face down, oh, he just lost it. They know, if, if you have a card face down, um, that has a higher defense than their attack, they will not attack it, as if they somehow know that. It's weird. That only happens after the second tier, though, when you get into, like, the really, you know, the really powerful characters. booster pack of cards, um, yeah, see, nothing in this one, but it's a little five pack booster. So, um, yeah, you have to battle and beat every one of these guys, I think at least three or five times in order to progress, and I think the hardest one out of all of them is either Bakura or Joey, I can't remember, uh, Tristan and Tia, or, yeah, I think it's Tia, they are absolute trash, I mean, it's hilarious how bad they are, and he even kind of admits it, you know. I don't have much experience, but don't think for a second that I'm a pushover, but he is. Uh, okay, let's see, I need to do that, that, and that. There we go. Perfect. So let's wipe the floor with him real quick. It shouldn't take long. Oh god, Real Dragon again. I love it. I'll have him on the floor in a minute. Just wait. Yeah. Next turn, I'll probably have him out. So he'll attack my Mystical Elf, and of course, defense is higher than his attack, so he loses his life points on that. Uh, but they won't always be doing that, unfortunately. They get smart to it. Uh, not these computers, but uh, the future ones will. Alright, so we'll get Dark Assailant on our side. And I'll just repeat last time, it's kind of a just chance that I had Barrel Dragon so early in both of these uh, matches. He could have been the bottom of the deck, you know, it's just it's totally random. The game. The game randomizes and stuff like that. No, no, stop it. I just want to go to the next phase. There we go. Okay, your turn. You'll probably just throw out some random little monster in defense if I had to guess. Yeah. Yeah, they don't they don't fight back much here at the beginning. Unfortunately, I do not have another monster myself to even attack him with, so I can't uh, Oh, I can do this, though. Aha! Forgot I had a Jiki. So that'll destroy all of his monsters. There we go. And this will give me a second turn. To attack. And... 
think about it. Let me go to let me go to main phase two because I forgot to do this. There we go. Needleworm. Yeah. If he attacks Needleworm, he loses the top five cards of his deck straight into the graveyard. It's kind of broken, but it's also amazing in how broken it is. And boom, five cards gone, just like that. If I can get a monster, well, one that wasn't bad. Actually, hang on. This is silly. This is totally silly. I'm gonna do this though. Um, I think I might be able to win this turn if I just get a monster out of the graveyard. It's got decent attack. Yeah, this should work. I think. I think I can win right now. Maybe. Yeah, I can win. This is over. Poor Tristan. God, I love Barrel Dragon. Sickest card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion. You're good. You're really good. I can't win. I don't feel enough. It's fun for me, though, so I'll play you whenever you want. See, now I feel bad, because that's, like, a pretty cool thing to say. Alright, let's just keep going. So we beat Tristan, we beat Yugi, let's beat Tia, whatever you want to call her. Alright, just jump into it, just start kicking butt right out the door. Try not to waste too much time. Barrel Dragon again! That is nuts, man. I can't believe how many times I'm gonna get- I wonder how many times in a row I'm gonna get this card on my first hand. Change of heart. Oh, you bitch. Okay, well, I'm gonna get hit a little bit here. That's fine. But I will destroy that so she doesn't get t two hits on me. Attacked by my own monster. Oh, for shame. Get back. Okay. Yeah, you only get him for one turn, so. Now, I will do a little bit of that myself. You know, I never noticed this as a kid, or, uh, you know, playing on the Game Boy Advance or the Game Boy SP or whatever. But this background that you're seeing right now, like the bricks in the background behind the playing board, make me kind of nauseous. <laughs> They're just constantly just going diagonally and, I don't know. Uh, let's see, it would actually probably be more efficient. Oh! Oh, Crawling Dragons! Uh, I gotta remove him. Can't have that. It would actually be more efficient for now just to do this. Because these two attack for 3,400 together. Summoning Barrel Dragon would only be 2,600. So. Should be able to win next turn, I think, unless she does something crazy. So yeah, like I said, this game, uh, the first, you know, the first tier of people you play against, just complete, you know, it's just ass kicking after ass kicking. There's, there's really nothing um, to brag about in beating these. I mean, this may be like a 200, 2,000 defense, but no, it's not. Yeah, so this one's over. And there goes Tia. Oops, I lost. I'll ask you to take a look at my deck again. I'm telling you, next time, I will definitely win. I'm telling you, you're absolutely insane. I need to go get that Crawling Dragon out of my deck. I did not realize that he was a level 5. Is it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Uh, the trunk. Okay, and... What was it? I... There's, is there anything I can still add to this? Because now I have a hole in my deck I need to fill. Did I leave anything out? Wait. Like two summon skulls, I guess. That'd be fun. Okay. Alright, so now we gotta beat Joey and Bakura. You think you can beat my Dex Pride? I keep wanting to say dick, I swear. <laughs> you think you can beat my Dex Pride and Joey? Uh. I think I can, Joey. I think I can. And I think it's gonna be really painful, too, on your end, because it's gonna suck a lot. <clears throat> Oh yeah, didn't get the barrel dragon this time. That's uh unfortunate. Oh well. Beaver Warrior. Alright. 
I don't think Joey would be much of a challenge either, but you never know. Uh, I'll tell you what, let me, let me put Actuator on the floor first. I'll get those summon skulls out next, next turn. Battle Oxes? No, they're Battle Ox and Actuator. Both of them have axes, though, I think. I'm pretty sure. I doubt this will be anything impressive. But there are a few cards, like my Mystical Elf here, that have a 2,000 defense that uh, the AI will also have that I'll attack and get, you know, smacked back against. But uh, I don't think any of these guys really have anything too impressive yet. They're just going to keep going defense until uh, there's nothing left. So yeah, um, not a whole lot to talk about, you know, I'm just kind of playing the game. That's kind of the way most of the things on this channel are, it's just me, it's just me and stuff playing the games and running our mouths in the meanwhile. This is just a, you know, I'm just I'm laying around thinking, what do I want to play, you know? Is there anything on my mind, anything that sounds super appealing that I would enjoy playing? And there's never anything that comes to mind most times, but, ooh, I forgot what is that, 700? Attack and defense, yeah, nice. It's a little overkill when they use it just for the fun of it. And I don't know, I was just thinking, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't even know why it, it popped into my head, but I was like, man, that game was so fun, I wish I could find it. And of course, I couldn't find it anywhere, so I was like, well, if I can't play it, I'll emulate it. If I'm gonna emulate it, then I'll, uh, I'm gonna record it. So here we are. Dueling against my childhood, you know, Heroes and beating the absolute hell out of them. I haven't got a single good card out of any of these decks yet either. All right, one more to go. We'll do we'll battle Bakura real quick. I always liked his character a lot because it's like you know he was really like nice and shy and quiet, but he also had like a super dark like. Dark side of him that would like come through sometimes. He's pretty neat. Yeah, I need a worm. Let's mess with him. Bakura is legitimately, I think, the hardest out of all the original five here that we've fought so far. I don't know what he has, but I'm gonna find out. Ooh, a man eater rock. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't attack that. Yeah, see, he's definitely already way better than the other guys, just from having a man eater rock in his hand. Alright, put the premature burial down. The Axe of Despair gave my Battle Ox an extra 700 attack. Or a thousand, actually, I think. Yeah, a thousand, Jesus. And it's only coincidence that he's also using an axe as his weapon, I promise. I'm not like some sort of, like, axe enthusiast. Now, I've got Dark Elf too, I think. Uh, she's really good in the sense that she has 2,000 attack and you don't have to uh, sacrifice anything to summon her, but unfortunately, she requires 1,000 life points to attack every time, so... Well, let's attack her back and hope and pray she doesn't have, or that he doesn't have a mirror, a mirror force or something waiting for me. Nope, he didn't. Well, there's no telling what that face down card is. I might be able to win this turn right here. I think 1,200 and 26, uh, 2,700 and 1,200 is yeah. I think I can win this turn. Oh. Never mind. Alright. Well, I can get close anyways. There. 
I'll get really close, but I'm not quite gonna be able to finish him off this turn, I don't think. Nope. Pigman Soldier's too weak. There we go. And he's just doing that to kinda get a little bit back on me. Alright, let's finish this off. I lose. You're really good, aren't you? I have to get my hands on one of those upgrade packs and improve my deck. Okay, so, yeah, that changed nothing. Um, I probably have to beat them all a couple more times. And I will definitely do that off camera. I'm not gonna make you watch. But this thing also has this pretty cool thing. So we started playing the game. <laughs> okay, okay, so what I said earlier at the very beginning of the episode was wrong. Because it was said like 1996, but uh, I knew that wasn't right. Early 2000s is what I said I thought, and then that's what it is. I guess it was just like copyrighted or something and trademarked in 96. Anyways, we've had five battles so far. One, two, three, four, five. So it's January 6th in the game right now. Um, I think we get like a magazine or something on these two days that comes with a pack of cards. And here we have a weekend duel where we have to fight someone twice. Uh, or something like that. And there's like an extra reward or something like that. Anyways. 5-0. and oh. and We can't view any of the other people yet because we haven't unlocked them. But their time is coming, I promise. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh... Episode 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul. Yeah. Good outro. Thanks for watching.